Hi guys, it's this this rig again. <laughs> I've been asked to sort out one of the problems with one of the GPU cards. Uh, this one is spinning at 100% and the rest are like 40% fans. They are exactly the same. This one started to spin 100% instead of uh, like 40% and the temperature is 77 degrees Celsius and this one has for instance 50 degrees Celsius. That's how it looks on the actual simple mining and it's 77 100 percent 40 30 30 30 40 okay so what i did i've replaced the uh, thermal conducting tape paste on this one with this ag silver thermal conducting paste but as you can see it's 3.8 watt per meter per kelvin so it's not the best one, there is no effect. This car still spins at the same 100% speed and it's overheating 77 degrees and it doesn't go lower. So... Okay, found that, so we can carry out. Bishbosh done, I bought this one. This one has the information on the thermal conductivity, 13. 13.4. So this, this should be very good because it's gonna be like four times more uh, uh, better conducting heat than the, this one, which it, it's not so bad as well. So let's do it again. Okay, still warm, so let's do it again. So that's the silver AG. Doesn't look too good. I did it yesterday and it's still wet. It has to dry off. I've put even more of it everywhere around so it conducts better, but no effect as you saw. Alright, so I'm gonna change to this one. Okay, voila. Now put it together and let's give it a try. Going back to the rig. So let's give it a try. Okay, it's there. Starting just 68. The rest. The rest has 55, 50. Oh, this one is different. 59, 66, which isn't good. 69, 35%. It's gonna spin up. Ah, crap. The same. Maybe a bit better. Okay, let's give it a minute. Well, it's 71, so it's better than 77. But it's still noisy. Well, maybe it will settle. So it seems that this thermal paste is better than the, the other one I was using. And it gave some um, cooling capability. But this is still not the, the things that it's on the other cards. Okay, so it's 69. It's better. But that's not what I was looking for. So there is a different problem. With this card. Okay, the temperature stabilized a bit, 70, 71, 70. So it means that thermal paste did help something. It's got better conductivity, thermal conductivity. It dropped from 77 to 70, 71, which is better, but it's not good enough. Just like the other cards, I would like to have 40% uh, percent fan and 66 degrees on the card, on the actual GPU, instead of 71 and 100%, which makes a lot of noise. Uh, the problem is, I think it might be because of the, uh, not actually by the cooling pads, but because of the uh, cooling system itself. Uh, what I mean is that this is not the first card I was uh, investigating lately. Uh, they are like 
four or five years old, maybe a lot older. And I think that uh, it's not the problem with the actual card. The temperature is read correctly. The system is giving the, the temperature which is uh, on the GP um, actual the, the processing unit. Uh, but the problem is here with this heat pipes. Uh, the actual temperature is generated here from the from the GPU and it's transferred to the thermal paste to, to this aluminium and the copper heat pipe. And something happened that the temperature or the heat actually, because the temperature is the measurement of the of heat, <coughs> measure of heat, doesn't go from the GPU to here and then through here to to the external heat drowning system so it, it's not being uh, uh, blown away by the fans so there is sort of heat blockade heat uh, heat transfer uh, problem uh, in actually in here and i know that because i've already did a few of them and i've converted them to water cooling uh, cards i'll show you two of them so that's how it looks, it's got new uh, aluminium water cooling block, water going in, going through the whole system, going out and it goes and goes away. So everything is, is exactly the same, that's the same card, it's the 570 uh, RX, uh, the red team. <laughs> and uh, it's working fine the temperature is <clears throat> very stable about 60 degrees celsius i can lower it down by blowing more water but yeah so there is no problem with the actual card and reading the temperature what i was thinking and now it's occurred that there is no not a problem with uh, with the heat transfer but with actually the mm, the, the the radiator which uh, this uh, removes the heat from the from the car because this block is pulling out the same amount of heat I'll show you in the in the other software the temperature but uh, and the card work, works nice okay so these are the two cards converted to water cooling the same ones they doing most almost the same and the temperature is 60 and 58 the fan doesn't matter because it's uh, water cooling the powers are the same even i was able to tweak them a bit and they are working on the higher uh, uh, core uh, frequency and memory frequency than the the, the air cooled ones so it's not the thermal pad thing it's the actual cooling uh, a radiator thing there is definitely difference between this thermal paste which has uh, 12 or 14 uh, watts per meter per Kelvin than this one which has only uh, 3.8 watts per meter per Kelvin. The temperature dropped uh, of about 7 degrees with, with the same cooling uh, on the card, but uh, it didn't help. The only solution is to replace this whole thing, not the fans, the fans are spinning, they are okay. It's just the, actually this aluminium block with those pipes. So I don't know, is it possible to buy those, the new ones, or is it that there is in this heat pipe there is some gas leakage or something, I don't know, it just stopped uh, pulling out the heat in an efficient way. That's why this fan is 100% uh, utilized and the other the others are you know, like 40% and it does, doesn't help so well thanks for watching if you have such a problems just share with them with me on the on the comments or write to me